Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel's Mike's Talks and Thoughts here. Back again with another The Walking Dead Season 11 reviews. And today we have Season 11, Episode 20, What's Been Lost. And in this episode here, a lot of crazy stuff happens as usual for Walking Dead. And we're starting to really creep up on that series finale here. But before we get started, if you've not seen The Walking Dead in its entirety through Season 11, Episode 20, definitely... Come back to this video once you have because there will be spoilers in this video. But without further ado, let's get into the review. So for episode 20 here, one thing that I have really not been bringing up a lot on these videos here is I've really been loving the flashbacks that they are doing at each of the episode's beginnings. Having Judith, of course, talk about that. And I think that's really going to pay homage to what's going to happen in the finale. We see how she is talking. We see all these flashbacks with all the different people here. And this one, of course, the episode was really centered around Daryl and Carol here. So we got a lot of great flashbacks with both of them at the start of this episode. As well as what's happening with Pamela and her trial on Eugene. And we see how, of course, all of the people there have been taken somewhere. And we get a little bit of a glimpse at the end of the episode on where that is. But following Daryl and Carol in this episode, of course, as well as Yumiko, the whole goal of the episode is to try and get the people back there, taken by Pamela somewhere, trying to, you know, exile them from the Commonwealth here. And we see how Daryl and Carol here go and look for Hornsby in the cell and try and use him for leverage to find the people because he, they think, you know, he can help them find them. And we just see how that all plays out, breaking him out of the cell. And, of course, Yumiko's dilemma here of Pamela paying her sort of in this corner where she has to go against Eugene and her friends here. And it's really interesting to see just how that all shapes out here. We see how, of course, she wants Yumiko to... Uh, be the prosecutor in the case against Eugene for the crimes that led to Sebastian's death here. And we see just still how heartbroken and how crazed Pamela is after going into the cell after uh, Hornsby breaks out and the alarm goes off and seeing Sebastian's body and just anything that she can do to avenge Sebastian's death and, you know, come out on top here. So... Yumiko gives the speech and of course Pamela gives her something to say and she goes off script and she says she's going to defend Eugene. I think a lot of us just got all that good feelings for that moment here. So that was a great part of the episode. Yumiko standing up and being great. And she's become a really solid addition. Uh, you know, someone who was added in the later seasons here and is definitely proving to be a really cool character. I loved her conversation with Connie of course at the hospital very great to see and moving back into the carol and daryl situation of breaking out horns being horns be telling them you know where to go we see carol and daryl sort of get split up when they break him out and carol and horns being you know carol's not playing these games with horns be and one little touch that i think a lot of people will notice in this episode is uh, when horns be's talking he says what comes after talking about what comes after everything and what's going to happen. That is, of course, the episode title of Season 9, Episode 5, Rick Grimes' final episode. So is that an homage to Rick Grimes? I really think it is with that episode. You know, a lot of people have been speculating that Rick is going to come back at the end of the series, so we'll have to see on that. But I thought that was just a really cool touch. There's always little fun Easter eggs that are planted here. And, of course, Hornsby can't just live with the fact that you know, he gives them all the information that they need. They tells them about this train, this working train that they have that's supposed to be an expansion for the Commonwealth. And once he has, you know, used himself up, he tries to plead, of course, of what Hornsby does. And just, you know, Carol and Daryl see right through him. And he goes and tries to reach for his gun. And Carol whew, just shoots him with the arrow. It's so epic and so badass. And we see another huge major character death in this episode of Hornsby. So Sebastian Milton and Hornsby, Lance Hornsby here, the two most hated characters I would say in season 11, both dead now. So I really wonder what is going to happen next. A lot of people have been speculating either Eugene or Rosita is going to die in these final few episodes because of the conversation that they had last episode and uh, episode 19 in Variant. Uh, we didn't see Aaron or Jerry or Lydia or Eli 
uh, in this episode here. So we'll have to see how, you know, their story plays out and see where they're going to be going from here. Maybe they'll follow them in the next episode. But it really looks like the next episode is going to be about Outpost 22, which is going to bring uh, all the people we see them getting taken. It's going to really focus on the people who were taken from the Commonwealth. And it's going to be a crazy wild ride as we're here approaching towards the end. And this episode here, I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10. Because, you know, it was, it was pretty good and had a little bit of solid action scenes. A little bit slow at points, but for the most part was solid. I'd say about an average to maybe a little bit above average episode. I really liked, of course, the big death of Hornsby is going to be what stands out for people in this episode. And I think a lot of people really liked seeing that because he was such a hated character in this universe. But yeah, that's going to do it here for the Walking Dead Season 11 Episode 20 review. Definitely make sure to check back next week. I will always be here until the end of the show talking about the Walking Dead and the newest episode. So yeah, that's going to do it here, everyone. Take care. Peace out.